the Chronic Fatigue Syndrome Advisory Committee to the Secretary of Health and Human Services, asked for the creation of a report that would define myalgic encephalomyelitis chronic fatigue syndrome. The Department of Health and Human Services then, with several of its parts, commissioned the Institute of Medicine to create that definition. This disorder is common. It is almost surely the case that the vast majority of people who are affected have never been diagnosed. It is likely that you know someone who has this disease. And so it is important to you and to them to learn about this disease so that your friends and relatives can get an appropriate diagnosis and get into appropriate care. The committee developed clear, succinct diagnostic criteria to make this diagnosis. It also gave detailed advice about questions about history, physical examination, and test results that can be used to clarify the diagnosis. After the report was concluded, we created a downloadable, succinct guide for clinicians that they can use in order to make this diagnosis. We also gave clear guidance about how to disseminate all of this information to clinicians and so that they know how to diagnose these patients. The major message of this report is that myalgic encephalomyelitis, chronic fatigue syndrome, is a serious, chronic, multi-system disease that can go on for years, that causes enormous morbidity to patients, and can have a profound impact on those who care for them. A second message of this report is that the current name, particularly chronic fatigue syndrome, has been a disservice to patients and that it is time for a new name for this disorder. The committee sincerely hopes that this report will aid patients, their friends, their families, and clinicians, first, in making a diagnosis, and second of all, in promoting research so that we can make this diagnosis even more clearly in the future and I think importantly develop more effective treatments.